Welcome back to Teresa is Dead. <laughs> I'm very much hands. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth, so viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. <laughs> Y'all, I am so excited for, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> like a fish. I'm excited for today's video because I get to do a spooky haul. So yes, you heard right. We have some stuff from Bath and Body Works, but we also have some stuff from Home Goods. Is it August? Yes. Did I procure this stuff in July? Yes, because why? It's Halloween every day in this world, baby. And um, you're gonna notice that the tablecloth has not changed. It hasn't changed for a whole year. And I don't think I am gonna change it because I haven't found anything as adorable as this. But feel free to keep sending your suggestions though because maybe one day I might buy something but I feel like at this point I might as well just keep it going because it's gonna be the holidays in about a month from now I know some of you might be like hey it's still summer wrong it's not it's pre Halloween <laughs> I'm celebrating early. In fact, I celebrate January 1st. I'm so excited to live in a state that actually puts out Halloween stuff early because when I lived in New York, I wouldn't get anything until almost close to Halloween. So I'm super excited to get to share with you all the little fun stuff that I picked up. I'm first gonna start with the home goods haul first, but um, before I do that, can we talk about Ray Dunn? What is this? What is this? What is this? I don't get it. <laughs> When I was in Home Goods, everybody was losing their mind, okay? People were stampeding each other for these basic things, okay? And granted, listen, I'm a basic bitch. I'm so basic, all right? My middle name is Anne. I like to organize linen closets, okay? I don't get any more basic than that. But I just can't get on this. I don't, first of all, I thought this was Re Drummond. I was like, what is Re Re doing here? <laughs> It's not Re Drummond. This is its own separate entity. I just don't think it's that cute. And it's everywhere. I was actually kind of turned off between that and things with gnomes on it. I am a spooky bitch to my core. And I'm not looking for things that are oozing gore, but I want something that's kind of adorable. There were slim pickings at the home goods. But the few things that I did find I'm very happy with, but I'm, I'm just so fucking confused. <laughs> Why so many people like this? Like, I almost bought a blanket until I read that it said thankful on it. And I got so heated. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> And of course, I'm the only person. I briefly talked about this on my live stream, and I wanna say there were more Ray Dunn people <laughs> than there were on my side. And I guess it's just, you know, it is what it is. If you like it, you like it great, but like, fuck that. So there's no Ray Dunn bullshit here, all right? Everything is just adorable. <laughs> <laughs> and no goddamn gnomes, okay? I don't, what is the gnome thing? What is that? What is this? All right, well, let me show you all the cute things that I got. First, we're gonna start with this. I have no words. <laughs> This is so <laughs> fucking cute. I can't even take it, okay? Basically, this is a loaf pan. I looked at it, I grabbed it off the shelf, I ran to my husband, I said, what the fuck could we do with this? And he said, I don't know, meatloaf? This is my new meatloaf pan. <laughs> this is so adorable, it was about $12.99, normally 20 bucks. I don't care, it could have been 30, I still would have bought it, why? Because you see these adorable little ghosties on here? Are you fucking kidding me right now? This is adorable, super excited to get this. Mama loves a placemat, okay? And these are kind of basic, but they're kind of fun. So we have like the standard jack-o'-lantern. This one looks like it has a finger in the butt. Love that. <laughs> because if you know, you know, we've all made that face. It's a pleasant surprise. This is me because I have little gap teethies. So this is me in pumpkin form. And then we have this one, which I mean, they're fun. It's fun. Probably the least exciting one out of the bunch. But in any case, I love that there are different faces. I love that there are two different tones. I believe this was like, I don't know. I want to say this was like $9.99. It wasn't that expensive, but I cannot wait to put this on my kitchen table. I mean, that is me. Like literally that is me. <laughs> love this. We also got this beautiful little set of kitchen towels, which I really like the quality of these. A lot of spooky kitchen towels usually have a material where you know you will never be able to dry anything with them and they're definitely on the decorative side but they're like really rough to the touch and they're not that fucking cute this I thought was pretty adorable so it's just like little ghosties so we have a black and white we have I guess more of like a gray and white kind of a detail and then my personal favorite the orange one this one was really cute it's from Cynthia Rowley which is the Cynthia Rowley curious line I don't know what the fuck that means <laughs> but okay. Then this was $9.99, so it actually wasn't uh, a bad price. These are kitchen towels that I'm gonna be using forever and ever and ever. 
Okay, I don't even think you can kind of see how big this is. This is huge. Um, basically, this is a large candy corn pillow. Do I like candy corns? No, I think candy corns are fucking disgusting. But what I do appreciate is the aesthetic of a candy corn. This one kind of has a little bit of like a dick pillow. <laughs> It's more of a chode. You have the base here that kind of looks like a sack. And then you have the tip here, which I mean, <laughs> need I say more? Anyway, I love this. I got two of these pillows because why I am a pillow slut, <laughs> especially when it's spooky pillows, I can't have enough. The material of this one is, I think it's like a shirling type of material. There are a few little flyaways, so you just have to be careful of that. So if you do have pets, this I feel like could be a great or horrible toy for them. So uh, think about that. But if you don't have a pet like myself, this is uh, gonna be a cute little decorative pillow. I love it. And then we have this one. I mean, come on, look how cute these are. By the way, I think the pillows were about $14.99 to $16.99 a piece. This one is so adorable. I also got two of these as well. First of all, the material is so soft. It's so squishy. This is really good if you just wanna rush your arm on it or just kind of have like nice like support for your back. This is an adorable little pillow. And I'm not ashamed to say that I actually also got um, two more decorative pillows. One from the Disney store because they recently released some Halloween stuff. So I'll do a haul in the future whenever it shows up. And then I also got something from Kohl's because apparently Kohl's has also been putting out some Halloween things, but the Kohl's by me, you didn't really have anything too cool. A lot of it was just like decorative grandma bullshit. So the ones that I did find were kind of like, I'll put a picture here. It was like a vintage Halloween situation. Do I have too many pillows for my couch? Yes. <laughs> Long story short, yes I do, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm an adult in my 30s. I don't have children, despite the fact that it might look like I do. I don't. <laughs> I just love spooky cute shit, so I'm excited to have this. And I think that's pretty much it for that. So let's go in with all the fun fucking things that I got from Bath and Body Works. But actually, before I do that, I do wanna say, I dropped a lot of money at Bath and Body Works. And this is by no means like me bragging or anything like that. I love Halloween. And the last two years, I feel like Halloween was robbed. <laughs> with COVID and all that shit. There has been nothing adorable that has come out or anything like that. So the fact that there was actually a lot of cute shit, I went motherfucking ham. I don't regret any of it. That said, I spent like $400. <laughs> $400 hairs on things because this is stuff that I'm gonna be using throughout the year, right? I will say, what makes me mad though about Bath and Body Works is that regardless of how much you spend, you still have to pay shipping. So I still had to pay motherfucking shipping on hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of shit. It's kind of really miffed about that because it's like, if you're spending a lot of money, you would think, I don't know, throw me a fucking bone here. Give me some free shipping. Oh no, fuck me, great, okay. <laughs> Anyway, let me show you what I got. I'm gonna start with the less exciting things and that is the soaps, pretty much. You know, maybe this is just like the first iteration of like fall and Halloween stuff, but I don't know. I remember seeing more of these types of uh, hand soaps, right? I'm not making that up. I feel like I've seen more kind of fun labels and this year it just felt like a couple of things. So um, the, I guess like the ones that are like not super exciting, right? You have the pumpkin apple, the pumpkin cupcake. I am um, a slut for pumpkin. So anything that has pumpkin in it, I'm going to buy. So we have like the perfect pumpkin. And then you have these, which I feel like I got these last year, or, or at least these are like reoccurring ones, vampire blood and ghoul friend. And then you have these, which are kind of weird. I'm not mad at them. Like I definitely like that they feel a little bit more upscale-ish, but it's, um, I don't know, I guess I was just expecting it to look like this. And then I was like, oh, okay. This is interesting. This is Stardust Magic. This is the sugared spell and it's like a tiny little like Halloween detail so this one has like a witch's hat this one has a little bat and then you have the enchanted candy potion a little moon and stars like I said they're really fucking adorable I don't know like it's just such a interesting departure from like normally like I guess more juvenile I, I, I hate to even use that word because I think this is still pretty adorable but I guess more kiddish as opposed to these which feel like just a little bit more upscale ish I'm not mad at it at all um I know some of you probably are like hey what is this supposed to smell like? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Well, here's the thing, like they definitely have their notes on the back. So like, for example, Stardust Magic is supposed to be caramel swirl, a mystical vanilla and a secret musk. I don't have the best sense of smell. So I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like, oh yeah, so I smell these notes, bitch. I don't know what the fuck they smell like, okay? A lot of it usually just smells like toxic sadness. 
<laughs> uh, sugared Spell is the Sugared Lemons, Candy Gumdrops, and Sweet Musk. Enchanted Candy Potion is Spellbinding Sugar, Bewitched Berries, and Whipped Pixie Dust. Ghoul Fiend is Dark Strawberries, Ghostly Peony, and Spine Chilling Citrus. Vampire Blood is Red Berries, Night Blooming Jasmine, and Petrifying Plum. Perfect Pumpkin is Carved Pumpkin, Spooky Cinnamon, and Moonlight Vanilla. Pumpkin Cupcake is Big Pumpkin, Whipped Vanilla Frosting, and Golden Honey. This is very strong. I could smell this, and it actually, even though I'm breathing in very hard, it smells delicious. <laughs> And then we have pumpkin apple, which is exactly what it sounds like. Red delicious apples, fall pumpkin, and clove buds. Now, normally they have really cute holders for these types of soaps, but this year it was just this one. Now there is one with a hand. I didn't like the hand theme. There was a lot of hand and Victorian bust, and it was just something that I wasn't really into. I thought it looked cheap and cheesy, and that's not the Halloween that I like. I like when it's fucking adorable like this. So this one's really cute because you press down, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but it basically lights up the soap. And I do, this one doesn't sing a song. There's ones I think that actually sing a song that sounds like it's gonna be fucking annoying. This one lights up for about 20 seconds, which is the amount of time you should take washing your fucking hands. And then towards the end, it turns red. So I'll show you that again. And you just like kind of press down on it lightly. This is fucking adorable. When I, when I got this out of the box, I squealed like a fucking pig. Okay. I was like, oh my God. I lost my shit. This is the most fucking adorable thing I've ever seen. Oh, look at him, he's so mad. I love him. I actually need more of him. So I think I might actually buy like seven more. It looks like there's like a small battery in there and I don't know if this is something that could be replaceable. It probably isn't. I need more. I need more of this though. But this is fucking adorable. I can't get enough of it. He's so cute. Did I buy this? Yes. <laughs> So basically this is a candle holder and it's so fucking cute. Hold on, let me figure out how to turn this on. I forgot how to turn this on. I'm sorry, are you fucking serious right now? Let me turn the lights off. I'm sorry, do you see how fucking adorable this is? It doesn't sing, it doesn't do anything, except it just has this, which I feel like you can't even, it's not even doing its justice. But this is hands down one of the coolest fucking things ever. And in theory, what you should be doing is putting a candle on top of it. Hold on, let me turn the lights on. So in theory, you have a little candle on top of it, like so, and that's all you have to do. It is so fucking cute. It's so well made. It's heavy as fuck. It's something that you can definitely murder somebody with if you really wanted to. The base alone can definitely crush a skull. Love that. I love things that are multi-purpose. This was the thing that I lost my shit about because I just love a giant eyeball and I love that it doesn't sing a song or do anything stupid. It's just perfect. It's perfect if you have misophonia like me where any little sound will drive you nuts. This has no sound. It's just adorable. And plus in the inside you have a giant eyeball floating around in glitter. Like what is there not to love about that? This is the other one that I knew I needed to have and this one I don't even know if you could fucking see it. It's so cute. Oh my god. I mean come on. Are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> It's so sweet. I love this so fucking much. And again, same thing. You just put the little candle on top and you're good to go. I love this one because it has like an iridescence to it. It's not too much. Again, it doesn't make any sort of sound. It's just aesthetically pleasing and it's not too bright. So you don't feel like this is an eyesore. This is like the perfect piece to like chill next to your TV. You know what I mean? Like it's so fucking good. I love this. I kind of want to buy another one. <laughs> I feel like I just need to have so many of them just to put it in every room of the fucking house. Like these are gorgeous. There is another one that they sell that has like water and glitter and shit. I don't fuck with that. Like it just kind of looks stupid in comparison to this, which I know it's like it's water and glitter and all that stuff. This one I feel like is done really nicely. The skull one looked kind of cheesy. This is the only one that actually I thought looked pretty good. And how you turn it on and off is that you have this nice little button on the back here. You just press it once and you're good. You don't want it on. You just press it again. And when you don't have it on, it still has that really beautiful iridescent shine. But when you have it on, it kind of just like flickers, but not too dramatically. Like, I just think this is so fucking cute and obviously well worth the money in my opinion. <laughs> I fucking love this. So since I got two of these, I needed to get two candles, obviously. So the first one is pumpkin carving. And this one actually smells pretty strong, but it smells really nice from what I can smell. <laughs> 
It smells like pumpkin. This one has the notes again of freshly carved pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds, smooth brown sugar, and natural essential oils. It, it smells very sweet. It smells like a pastry, which I'm not mad at. I know a lot of people don't like sweet candles. I love a sweet candle. I love smelling like I work in a fucking bake shop all day. <laughs> this one's very, very good. The other candle, I don't like. I don't like it. It smells toxic and sad. And that's the Enchanted Candy Potions. I do have the soap version of this. So again, this is sugar, bewitching berries, whipped pixie dust, and natural essential oils. I don't know, it just, I don't like the smell of it. I'm hoping that it's not gonna smell like shit when I'm burning it, but it smells like the lobby of a Ramada, okay? <laughs> Very specific. It has like that fake breakfast smell. Like I smell sad families eating continental breakfast. <laughs> And all they have right now is just like mixed berry yogurt. And I think it expired. Like <laughs> that's the vibe I get from this one. Not a fan. This I would happily repurchase, but I definitely um, didn't go ham on the candles because it's bullshit. Like these um, are $26.50. So for me, like if I stock up, same thing with the fucking soaps too. Anytime there's a sale, I'll buy like 15 of them. And when these are half off, that's when I go ham and I decide to buy everything in the world. So I'm hoping that they go on sale soon because there were a lot of false scents that I really like and I would love to have but I just refuse to pay fucking $26.50 for it. $50 for this? Sure. <laughs> but like 26.50 for this, not so much. So I wanna show you a bunch of little plugins um, that I purchased as well. These I go through so much, like every room I have pretty much has like a little wall unit thing in there because I, again, love smelling like I work in a bakery. So we have mahogany teak wood, which I know this is kind of more of a savory smell in comparison to like warm vanilla sugar, but it just smells so, so good. This is rich mahogany, black teak wood, dark oak and frosted lavender. It smells adorable. You have fresh fall morning, which is citrus zest, woodland sage, and red delicious apples. Warm vanilla sugar, which is pretty much warm vanilla sugar. <laughs> Sheer florals, vanilla absolute, and sandalwood. Pumpkin pecan waffles, which I think this is like one of my favorite ones. This one's maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. Marshmallow fireside, oh fuck me. If I could just smell like this constantly, one, people would bite me, but two, I would kind of like that. <laughs> Three, I would be a happy little camper. So this one is toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, and roasted vanilla. This one is so fucking good. We have laundry day, fresh air, crisp eucalyptus, and soft lavender. This one's also really good as well. And then we have a sweet cinnamon pumpkin because we are a pumpkin bitch after all. Warm cinnamon, fresh ground clove, and vanilla cream. Love that. Like these are not super exciting, but compared to the, the little vessel that I get to put them in, <gasps> bitch, I'm so excited. I pretty much got most of the wallflowers. Starting with this gem, are you fucking kidding me right now? This is a crystal ball. I am obsessed. I am gonna put in a picture of what it looks like lit up. Not my favorite in terms of like how bright it could possibly be, but I'm not mad at it either. There are some wall lights I feel like are so bright, like beacons of light. They might as well help ships see in the dark, okay? Like that's how bright they are. This one is definitely more on the subtle side, but I kind of like that though. It's like very spooky and ooky, very, very cute. Then we have the spooky tree, which I'm sorry, are you like really? Fuck, bitch. <laughs> this one's so cute. I love how it lights up. There was a little house too, but the last few years, I actually, or maybe, maybe three years or so, I have gotten the little houses and the house that they had this year, I wasn't really, I don't know, I wasn't too excited about. So that's why I decided to get the tree instead. I think this one is just so fucking adorable. Here's what it looks like lit up. It's just so fucking cute. I can't. Then you have this adorable pumpkin. Listen, it's very basic. It's very basic, but what I love about it is that it reminds me of like vintage Halloween, and this is bright as fuck. <laughs> so this is definitely going in my bathroom in my bedroom. Not only will it just be an adorable little reminder that I love Halloween, but it will serve as a nightlight so I don't fall in the toilet. So <laughs> that's great. And I just couldn't resist him. Like, are you fucking, look how cute he is. Okay, like he's so sweet. I love the little teethies, they're adorable. These are so cute. They are so cute and these are little things that I will definitely have all year round my house. Why? Because it's Halloween every day in this bitch. But this one is so cute though, I love him. I can't, I can't get enough of him. And last but not least, we got some pocket back hand sanitizers. These are really great. And I love all the little holders that Bath and Body Works comes out with. One of my favorite things that I still have is this little pumpkin, I'll insert a picture here. It's a little pumpkin pail. I love it, I'm obsessed. I treat it like a child because I never wanna lose it, so cute. But for the actual hand sanitizers, 
sanitizers. I got champagne toast because we love a good champagne toast moment. And then I got all the Halloween ones, which it looks like you have vampire blood, enchanted candy potion. Actually, it's two ghoul friends and two enchanted candy potions and then one vampire blood. But first of all, I had to get him. Like, are you... Are you seeing this right now? Like how adorable is he? First of all, his little wings. I, I can't even, I can't even handle it. I'm sorry. Am I gonna be 37 this year? Yes. <laughs> that is so cute. I can't, I can't, I can't handle it. I can't handle it. But the other one I got too, a little pumpkin spice latte. Like I fucking love this. <laughs> I love this so much and they're cute. This one's a rubber holder. This one is definitely a hard plastic. I'm going to be careful with this one because I could kind of see that this one breaking very easily. But let me put a little hand sanitizer in them. We got to give the full effect, right? This is what he looks like with a little champagne toast. I love how this one looks because I like that it's completely hidden. This one, you know, you really just don't have the ability to do that because it kind of just stops right there. So you're gonna have to be okay with the fact that it looks like that. But I'm not mad at it though, it's pretty cute. Um, but I think now in terms of like functionality, my little pumpkin guy wins more. This one I feel like I can definitely have it on the outside of my bag and it's not gonna break. This one I would be fearful of. I know this was gonna break in a heartbeat, so eh, this might just sit at my desk for the time being, but these are really fucking cute and I can't. I I love everything that I got. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, so that is pretty much my spooky little haul. Definitely be on the lookout for more spooky hauls in the future because we just started and I am going to buy everything that I could possibly find because I have two years to make up, essentially. I have two years to fucking make up. So I might as well start early in August. <laughs> Anyway, now I wanna hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you have been on the hunt for some spooky stuff. And if so, what have you found? And um, well, I don't know, let us know some of your good finds because I'm sure I'm not the only one that is obsessed with Halloween and that is currently on the hunt. So I would love to hear from you. We all would. With that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon. To all my beautiful, wonderful patron bubbies, Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, actually. Garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces, and I just want to gobble you all up so you can live inside my body and we can be one. If you want to know what is currently on my nails, everything you need to know, plus where to get all of this beautiful stuff, will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you, little pumpkins, later. Bye.